accomplishing a reflected ceiling plan is a rewarding experience, yet the process is very challenging. I believe this video guide might be helpful to you in some ways on the process of working on your reflected ceiling plan. So bear with me and enjoy this video. This is the complete example of a reflected ceiling plan with all its features, including the legion. These are the process that we need to undergo from the very beginning until the end of the plan. The first thing that you're going to do are these lines, followed by the establishment of the column, then the drafting of the column plus the walls, and then you are going to add up the roof lines or the outline of the roof. This, you'll have already the, the moldings. And next, you have already the ceiling features or ceiling fixtures. These are the features found in your ceiling system. You can add to this based on your particular design. Okay. Next, you have added or you will add the vents. By, by the way, the sizes of these symbols vary depending on your desired size in proportion to your design or to the whole plan. You have to decide for the particular size based on the proportion that you think is best for the plan that you're drawing just like this. You may measure the symbols and then make use of the dimensions used in this plan as your basis of the sizes of the symbols that you're going to apply or to draw in your plan. Next here, we add up the dimension system. And lastly, this is the complete set of plans. All in all, these are the things that you're going to do. So stay tuned and we will discuss all together the details of drafting this plan. In this first step, you're going to draw the construction lines. All these lines drawn horizontally and vertically are construction lines. These lines are the center of the walls. The division of this plan, which are shown through these boxes, is the same with that in your floor plan. Here's the dimension of the floor plan in this layout. So if this part of your house measuring 4 meters in the floor plan, you're going to use that dimension to refer to this layout. Step 2, you're going to add the columns according to the desired sizes. And you may use 3mm by 3mm column as a symbol for a, a 0.30 by 0.30 column in the actual floor plan. So in this case, the size of the column is 0.15 by 0.30 and this one measures 0.20 by 0.20 so in this drawing this is only 2 mm by 2 mm this is 1.5 by 3 mm you have to lay out all the columns as indicated in your floor plan or foundation plan for this step you're going to draw the walls, we're going to add it up to the previously done columns. The wall measures 2 mm or you may have 1.5 mm to indicate a column measuring 0.15 meter or 0.20 meter or shall we say 15 centimeters 
and 20 centimeters in the actual plan. You have to lay out all the partitions or the walls in the interior parts of the house, but you have no opening. The openings for the doors and windows shall not be included in this part. You are going only to lay out the walls without the windows and the doors. The next step is to draw the outline of the roof. This line in red, which is being highlighted with this laser point now. This line is the outline of the ceiling outside the house. This line will be drawn like the roof line, but this will not be a hidden line anymore. This will become an object line, which is drawn one meter away from the center of the wall. The distance from this wall to the outline is one meter, because we prefer to have one meter overhang here, or distance from the, the center of the wall to the outer part of the roof, excluding the, the gutter and other attachments here. This will be drawn as an object line. Okay, This will not be drawn using your hidden line anymore. But this will be drawn as an object line, the same with the walls and the columns. After drafting the outline of the roof, you're going to draw the ornaments of your ceiling by room. One ornament given in this plan is the molding. This yellow green line represents the line for the moldings to be placed in the ceiling. As used in this plan, the distance of the moldings from the wall is 30 centimeters. From this part of the wall to the molding, this is 30 centimeters. You have the choice of this distance. Many designers placed it directly on the corner of the ceiling. And other designers are elaborating the ceiling design in the living room, but they are not doing it or they are just simplifying it in some other areas of the house. You have the freedom of the ornaments to be included in your design. You may download various types of moldings for reference, or you may visit the market for various types of moldings applicable for the ceiling. And you may use various types of ceilings in your design. For step number six, you're going to add the ceiling fixtures. Ceiling fixtures include the pin lights, these lines, uh, these uh, circles. You may refer to the legend to find out for the symbol of pin light. Also the fluorescent lamp, ceiling fans, sprinkler, among others. Draw them in proportion to your drawing. You may use the size preferred in this sample. These lines will be drawn or the lines of the symbols to be used for the fixtures will be drawn in fine dark lines only. This time you're going to add the vents. This serve as the ventilation system of your ceiling. Draw this in fine dark lines in proportion to your plan, the same with the rest of the ceiling fixtures that you did in the previous step. In this step, you're going to provide the dimensioning system. These are your dimensioning system. This includes your extension lines, dimension lines, arrowheads, and your numerals. Draw first the detailed dimensions. These are the detailed dimensions. These dimensions, four, two, three. These are examples of detailed dimensions. And then 
after which we're going to draw the overall dimensions. The overall dimensions are 9, 940, 9 here, and another 940 here. All right, the arrowheads to be used may vary, but you may be, you are advised to use architectural tick for uniformity just for the sake of this activity. The architectural tick shall be 3 to 5 mm. The length of that line shall be 3 to 5 mm. The last step that we're going to do is to provide labels. These are labels here the title and the scale. The height of the label is 3 mm. And the height of the title is 5. The scale is also 3 mm. The numbers for the numerals, by the way, these are also 3 mm high. Or the height of this let text or these numerals is 3 mm. Also with the legend, you're going to use 3 mm here for the height of the text and 5 mm for the height of the word legend. Remember, always use guidelines and lettering. It is part of the criteria for rating. Provide legend as shown in this sample. It includes the symbols. These are the symbols and their names here. These are the names of the symbols for the fixtures used in this plan.